is the Nashville real estate market overheating? Is the Nashville real estate market going to crash? And are we in a bubble? Hey, those are all great questions and definitely something that we're gonna go ahead and get answered for you today. In fact, we're also gonna go ahead and give you a market update on Williamson County, Nashville, Tennessee for the month December 2022. We're also gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the homes that sold last week. We're gonna take a look at one of the homes that sold for the least amount of money. We're also gonna take a look at one of the homes that sold for the most amount of money, give you a comparison of the two so you can really figure out what your money would get you. Hey, my name is John Bourgeois. I am your Nashville, Tennessee real estate agent and really your resource for all things Nashville. So it would be, you're looking for more market updates like we're doing today, or you just really wanna know all there is to know about Nashville or you just wanna see new home tours or you're looking to list, move, relocate, any of those things, I really wanna be a resource for you. And I definitely wanna make this be an easier process for you as well. So whether you're moving in the next nine days or you're moving in the next 90, feel free to leave a comment below or you can text me, email me, call me. Let's connect face to face, figure out exactly what it is you're looking for. Really just make this be the smoothest process for you. Hey, make sure you like, you subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you're getting as much up-to-date content as possible throughout this entire process. Other than that, let's jump into it. John, is the national real estate market overheating? Is it gonna crash? Are we in a bubble? Like what in the world is happening? Is it gonna pop? Like, please tell us what's going on. Well, obviously, before we go any further into today's video, I wanna say this, right? I am no Harry Potter. I can't wave some magic wand and figure out exactly, is it Harry Potter or would it be Dumbledore that would be able to look into the future? Either way, I'm not able to tell you what's gonna happen in the future, right? But in my expertise, here's what I can do. What we've gotta be able to look at is we've gotta look at the economy of what is Nashville, what is Tennessee. When you're looking at an economy, when you're thinking about moving, when you're thinking about relocating, when you're thinking about buying a home, you wanna look at a couple things. You want to see is the economy booming are they creating jobs and is investment money going into the area as well right if you're starting to see an area where the economy is slowly you know imploding there's no more money coming into the area you've got less people that are moving into the area and more people that are moving out that's not a good sign right and so today what I wanna go ahead and do is I really wanna just show you what's happening in Nashville and specifically what just happened in Nashville in December of 2022. So that you can take that information, you can make an assessment with it, you can go ahead and go ahead and go, yep, I, I know what's going on, right? Because sometimes when we see all the headlines, when we see all the, the, the clippings, right? It can really just bog us down. But if we can really understand what's happening, we can make a very educated decision on what we wanna go ahead and do. Here's your first big news when it comes to Tennessee and when it comes to Nashville. Tennessee was just named one of the fastest growing states in all of the U.S. by U.S. Census. And this was a census done from July 2021 to July 2022. Now that's huge. When you're looking at an area, right, and you're seeing that they're one of the fastest growing states in all of the U.S., that's massive. On top of that, though, Nashville and its 16 counties was ranked one of the fastest growing metropolitan regions in the last decade in the U.S. We just hit two million residents in all of Nashville, and that is huge. So when you have a few things happening, right? When you have that the state is ranked one of the fastest growing states in all of the U.S., and then the area, Nashville in particular, is ranked one of the fastest cities that's expanding and growing, that is huge. Number two, when it comes to big news for Nashville, look, Nashville was just ranked number four across the globe when it comes to being the best place to go ahead and spend your New Year's Eve. Look, we beat out places like London and Paris. We beat out places like Seoul, Korea. We even beat out Tokyo, Las Vegas, LA, and New York. And let me tell you the reason why. We've got hours and hours and hours 
hours and hours and hours and hours of live music. We've got our signature music note drop, which showcases some of the best musicians. And then on top of that, we've also got the fireworks, pow, 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 and the many and many confetti cannons that are spread across Broadway as well. Next, when it comes to big news for Nashville, construction is going to be beginning on Nashville's next tallest building. Now, this is a 60-story building. This is 1010 Church Street. It was acquired for $26 million. And this is going to be 360 apartments that will go live in the summer of 2025 and then an additional 140 condominiums that will go live the following spring. On top of that, Nashville Yards, which is Nashville's next planned music venue has gone ahead and launched its plans. Now this is planned to be a standing only concert hall, right? It is going to be bigger than the historic Ryman is. And you're looking at 18 acres of both entertainment and office space and obviously complexes and apartments and that sort of stuff as well. But this is huge, right? When it comes to looking at, are we seeing investments? Are we seeing tourism booming and all of those sort of things? These are all things you want to go ahead and keep track of. Last but not least, when it comes to big news for Nashville, the remarkable new Nashville International Terminal is going to be opening up. Now, right now they're expecting this year to be going ahead and seeing 18 million passengers come through the terminal. But by 2041, they're expecting to see literally 30 million passengers and travelers come through the actual Nashville International Airport. Now, what's really, really cool is this is the first major renovation that the International Airport has had in the last 35 years. To put it a little bit in perspective, we had 16 thousand travelers coming through the area 35 years ago. We now have 60,000 passengers that travel through Nashville International's airport today. Now that's huge. On top of that, you can expect the $2 billion investment, yes, B, billion dollar investment to go on for the next decade. Now, why do I say that to you, right? Well, again, when we're asking the question, like, is this the right place to move? Should I go ahead and relocate? Should I buy a home? Like all of those type of things, you wanna be looking at a couple of things. Is the economy booming? We answered that with the question of the fact that Tennessee is one of the fastest growing and so is Nashville. Are we seeing tourism booming as well? Well, we can answer that being as we're now one of the number one places to be visited for New Year's and our international airport has got a $2 billion investment to help travelers travel to Nashville. And then on top of that, are you seeing investments go into the area and into the economy? Is it creating jobs with those investments? Well, you've got a $26 million investment that was just made in downtown Nashville to build Nashville's one of its largest, uh, newest buildings in the area. And then you've got $2 billion being invested into the area as well for its international airport. So to all of that, I say, absolutely. So hopefully that helps you go ahead and answer the question like, are we overheating? Are we in a market crash? Like, is the bubble gonna pop, right? Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually take a look at Williamson County, Nashville, Tennessee. I'm gonna give you a market update for December 2022. And then on top of that, like I mentioned to you, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the homes that sold. We're gonna take a look at one of the homes that sold for the least amount of money. We're gonna take a look at one of the homes that sold for the most amount of money. Give you a comparison of the two so you can figure out exactly what your money would get you. Here is your market update for Williamson County, Nashville, Tennessee for the dates December 2022. Now we are gonna be doing something a little bit different than we've done in previous market updates, right? And the reason for that is, obviously there's been a bit of a market shift, right? It's still a seller's market, but there has been a bit of a market shift, right? So rather than us going ahead and comparing year over year numbers, so December 2022 compared to December 2021, we're actually gonna go ahead and take a look at the month prior. So looking at December 2022 compared to November 2022, for you to really be able to get an understanding of what's happening in the market with this shift. Now, currently we are filming this January 4th, 2023. And currently in the Williamson County, Nashville, Tennessee, we have a total of 853 active homes in the market. And what's 
what's important to note about that number is that's actually 192 homes less than what we saw in the previous months, which comes out to be right around 18.31% less than what we've seen in previous months. And why is that important to you as a seller? Well, really the reason why it's important to you is if you're looking to going ahead and putting your home on the market, right now is an opportune time for you to do so. Why is that? Less competition. You're not competing with as many homes, but you've still got the same amount of eyeballs looking at your home. And if you're a buyer and you're going ahead and you're looking at a home, what that means for you is, again, less competition because you got less buyers that are going ahead and putting in offers, but you've got the ability for you to go ahead and find the perfect home. Now, the median home price that we're looking at for the homes in the market is right around 975,000. And the average days on market we're looking at is 68 days on average. We have 40 homes that are going ahead and coming to the market, which is fantastic. And then when we look at December, 2022, we had 198 homes that went ahead and went under contract. And that is super amazing. Now, it is down compared to when we look at November 2022. But when you look at back at December 2021, right, it is significantly up. And if you think about it, right, the homes were coming on the market and they were getting snatched pretty much just as fast as they were coming on. You barely even had time to make a decision on whether or not that was the right home for you and your family. So to be able to see homes that are going under contract is fantastic for us. Now, when we take a look at the expired, we had 151 homes that were expired off the MLS, and we had a total of 163 homes that were canceled off the MLS. Now, what's important to note both about the expired and the canceled is when we take a look at the days on average, you're seeing that those homes were sitting at that 70 plus days on average. Now, why is that important to you as a buyer? The reason that's important to you as a buyer is if you're looking at a home and you're starting to see that your home that you're looking at is approaching that 70 day mark, it means you've got the power of negotiation. You've got the ability to go ahead and ask for a price improvement. And if you're a seller and you've got your home on the market and you're starting to see your home approach that 70 day mark, right? What that means for you is you've got the ability to go ahead and use what is called a price improvement. And what that price improvement does, the power of it, is it actually has the ability to go ahead and attract more interested buyers into your home. Now, and I absolutely love this piece. When we take a look at the homes that close in the month of December 2022, we had 348 homes that went ahead and moved over to a brand new homeowner. And if you are that brand new homeowner, massive congrats there, right? And the reason why I love seeing this number is you've got to remember in December, you've got businesses that are closing down. You have the hustle and the bustle of the buying all the presents. You've got Christmas and New Year's Eve as a major holiday in that month. So it means there's less time. And generally it means there's less homes that are actually going ahead and being sold. What's beautiful about this number is we actually had more homes sell in December than we did in November of 2022. And we look at October, we actually went ahead and equaled the number of homes that sold in October of 2022. And that's huge. Now, obviously when we compare it to December of 2021, right? You are looking at it being 33.71% down compared to the previous year. But keep in mind, you literally were seeing the homes go on the market, they were jumping off the market, and you weren't really being able to make a decision on the perfect home for you. Now, when we compare the average days on market for last month, we were looking at it being 26 days, so roughly around three plus week, right? So three and a bit week, right? And when we compare it to December 2021, obviously December 2021, your average days on market was sitting at right around 10. So you barely had some time to think about it before it was snatched off the market. Now, when we take a look at the average sales price for those homes, you're looking at $1,068,002. Now, I love seeing that number and let me explain why. That number is up 11.57% more than if they had sold it in the previous year, December 2021, which means those sellers saw $110,000 more in equity when they sold their home in December, which is fantastic. And when we take a look at the sales price compared to the listing price, 
We're looking at the sales price compared to the listing price sitting at 98.2%. What does that really mean? All that really means is the sales price was slightly lower than what the listing price was. In fact, it was actually 1.8% less than what the listing price was. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the homes that sold. We're gonna take a look at one of the homes that sold for the least amount of money. And we're gonna take a look at one of the homes that sold for the most amount of money. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at one of the homes that sold for the least amount of money in the Williamson County area. Now this was a two bedroom. We're looking at one bath. This was 870 square feet. The home sold for $248,000. Now this came out to be right around $285 per square foot. Now this home was built in 1969. It's sitting in Williamson County and in the Franklin area as well. Literally, we're talking walking distance from the historical downtown area of Franklin. New granite countertops, you've got vinyl planked floors, mature trees, and a dog park as well. And the thing that I just absolutely love about this home is that this home screams to me that perfect investment opportunity, right? It obviously could be something that's maybe a stake hay if you wanted it to be, but the ability to be able to have a two bedroom, one bath in the heart of Franklin, walking distance from the historical area is an absolute amazing passive income. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at one of the homes that sold in the Williamson County area for the most amount of money. Now this was a four beds. You're looking at six full baths. You've got two half baths. You're looking at 9,164 square feet and the home sold for $8 million. So that comes out to be right around $873 per square foot. And the home is a brand new build. It was built in 2022 and it is sitting in Brentwood on 3.5 acres. And and that's absolutely unbelievable to be having that much land in one of the most coveted areas in all of Tennessee. Now you've got those stunning 180 degree views of the Brentwood Hills. You've got that pool, you've got that spa, you've got that outdoor kitchen, you've got the gym and you've got that gourmet kitchen as well. The wine tasting room, those vaulted ceilings with those wood beams. You've got an elevator throughout this home, but probably the thing that I just absolutely love the most about this home is First and foremost, it's just absolutely, just absolutely gorgeous and breathtaking. But you've got to be completely honest. That infinity pool that's overlooking the air, like the entire area, is to die for. Who would not want to entertain in that space? So there you have it. There's your market update for December 2022. And hopefully, when we went ahead and went through all that information, hopefully it helps you with going ahead and making the decision whether or not it's a good time and a good place to go ahead and relocate to. Hey, if you're moving in the next nine days, you're moving in the next 90 days, feel free to leave me a comment. Go ahead and click on the link in the description. Let's connect face to face, figure it out exactly what it is you're looking for and make this just be the smoothest process for you. Other than that, guys, I'll see you on the next episode.